Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this daily UPSC MCQ series. In the evening, these lessons are coming. In the morning, the Hindu analysis videos, they are coming. And you need to follow both the lessons there. And religiously keep following these lessons. Your current affairs section will be very strong by the next year, 12th of November it is. And we are taking all important references here. Let's start there. Three important faculties and the premium videos uh, regarding current affairs. They are available at just 159 rupees per month. So it's totally affordable pocket news app training there and uh, regarding these courses or any payment issue you can call on these two given numbers chat section is also available here and you can get the pdf on telegram channel the link is given here on this facebook group so send me a request there and i will ap approve that first question the earth is a bad conductor of electricity is it correct no we have seen many times uh, electricity uh, falling on uh, earth's surface through tall buildings trees and all and it's a good conductor that happens because of that so this year there was a report and uh, this issue came in the Hindu newspaper most number of deaths due to lightning strikes were reported from Odisha this year you see many number of instances in the highest uh, I think this year were reported from Odisha region but the deaths due to strikes they were there in UP so both the statements are wrong here D N is the right answer here because uh, uh, the report is there and it is a part of a three year program that is going on by IMD's CROSPC. Observing System Promotion Council and a climate resilient observing system it is. So CROSPC, it's IMD's important uh, uh, council and three year study period is going on. Lightning Resilient India campaign and there they are observing these issues. Jammu and Kashmir recorded the least number of lightning strikes and Odisha recorded the highest number but the deaths were there in UP and highest intensity lightning strikes were there in Chota Nagpur Plateau there also many people died and uh, you see number of lightning days they are also uh, uh, rising there this was the study for four months from 1st of April to July 31 so very rapid and massive discharge of electricity that happens in the process if we see the process there then you can see evaporation happens a lot of air moving towards upside small ice crystals are formed because of the low temperature there so they are moving upside and there is a pressure from uh, ground but the bigger ice particles they are coming down due to gravity so there is a huge friction between them and this is why a lot of uh, uh, electricity electrons they are developed there and the middle layer of the cloud around five to six kilometers that becomes negatively charged and the upper layer that becomes heavily positive there so due to this difference you know uh, the electrons will move so it's positive it's negative the main transfer of electrons that happens in the upper layers there and the maximum voltage that is transferred there but uh, but 15% uh, uh, to 20% of it the the current uh, the uh, the electricity there which is too much an amount billions of volts were, volts are there so for that transfer it happens towards earth also because in comparison to the middle layer of the clouds the ground on earth that becomes positive so there is a shift of electrons towards earth also and uh, the large buildings large trees and poles uh, they are the most vulnerable ones so this is the process there so this is how it's it's a huge flow and uh, the whole process is mentioned here in the text given here and you can go through that and uh, you can see the base of the clouds that is there at one to two kilometers from the ground middle layer is around five to six and the upper layer is 10 to 12 kilometers tall so this happens in between that next ministry of textiles has allocated a separate harmonized system code for khadi a few months back in the PIV videos, I was talking about the uh, Indian apparel industry and the HS code there. Now it is there for Khadi. You see, internationally trade happens and for the custom authorities, they must have some specific nomenclature for that. So this HS code is an international code developed by World Customs Organization, not Trade Organization. This is wrong. And it is not the Ministry of Textiles which has given this uh, important HS code. It is Ministry of Commerce and Industry. 
that has allocated a separate harmonized system for khadi now which was popularized by mahatma gandhi ji so both the statements are wrong here d none is the right answer you can see harmonized system code for khadi khadi is india's signature hand spun and hand woven cloth very comfortable and uh, uh, based on cotton and to boost khadi exports in the coming years this hs code is going to make the process smoother and it will boost the export there for sure developed by wco world customs organization universal economic language for goods uh, it is called and a multi purpose international product nomenclature it is okay around 500 communities internationally they have this kind of a system okay uh, these are uh, the uses uses there by various authorities statistical statistical agencies and uh, regulatory bodies customs authorities they all use that next sometimes in news what is the gig, gig economy i i was explaining you an important article on the gig economy and the platform companies there in the morning session so please go through that video very important article it was there and it was related to the unemployment scenario and the employment uh, being made available by uh, these uh, platform companies like uh, ola uber swiggy zomato these companies and the concept of gig economy i explained to you so what is going to be the answer here very high growth economy no declining growth economy no a economy of developing country no it is the economy where permanent employment is very rare or maybe uh, not there and mainly contract based employment and the non permanent jobs they are all uh, prevalent across all the sectors so that's a gig economy and india is becoming a gig economy with a very fast pace because permanent employment is something very very rare today and job losses we are observing it is the worst uh, stage in last 7 to 8 years uh, right now so d none is the right answer here okay so please go through that that article and you will uh, understand a lot of things there Th those videos are available both in hindi and english language okay so that's important next 44 labor laws they are getting subsumed in various codes and this is all the labor reforms agenda and uh, to support the ease of doing business initiative this is very very important this is something that we need badly today so which are th uh, these uh, codes code on wages bill yes it was proposed in june month so this is correct occupational safety health working conditions yes it is also one of the code there industrial relations that is also being discussed also correct social security the draft is in making and in, in the hindu newspaper yesterday we discussed this issue so uh, sorry day before yesterday so this is also correct next five code on provident fund and medical facilities you see these issues are the issues of social security only so there is no separate code for that this is subsumed under that only eight laws are going to be subsumed in the social security code so it is under that so five is wrong six is also wrong because it is the agenda of whole labor reforms there is no separate code named on labor, labor reforms there so this is wrong so 1 2 3 4 is the right answer c is the right answer here you can see ease of doing business initiative 44 labor laws into four codes these four codes are given here and uh, simplify and consolidate labor rules regulations and these four codes are going to be uh, uh, reflection of all these important uh, regulations and laws in india agenda is the labor reform which is something we need prominently today if we want to do something in the manufacturing sector if you want to do something in the export sector then we have to bring labor reforms as soon as possible so that's the issue and draft code on social security it is being discussed draft the draft is in making and these are the objectives of the draft the bodies like epf and esic you must know everything about them they are going to be very very important in the social security issue okay that's the issue next fall army worm as the name suggests it is a very dangerous type of war it certainly works like a army and like battalions it feeds in a very fast way it works in a very fast way and uh, uh, it can flock to other areas within a night so it's a very dangerous type of uh, a worm there but this statement is wrong although it mainly feeds on maize crop it is the favorite crop for it but it's a multi fagus uh, worm it can eat up to 80 types of 
crops so it can eat almost everything and uh, you cannot say exclusively on maize crop this is wrong it was mainly found in african region but it is the native of americas so that's why both the statements are wrong here d n is the right answer in india it was found in karnataka and within six months it was spread into half of the country and devastating crops there in china thailand malaysia sri lanka uh, uh, in a very small span of time it devastated a lot of areas which were having maize wheat ragi and uh, uh, paddy crops so it was devastating 80 types of crops it can feed on native of americas tropical subtropical regions but it was found in african continent remember that in india in karnataka it was found okay recently in odisha it was a kind of a success for the farmers that uh, this attack was not there Other this year it was the bumper production and the coverage area was also very huge 2.440 lakh hectares was the area where they grew maize so it could have been very devastating but uh, they saved it because of the awareness factor for fall army worm so that's important it's a worm okay and these are the main characteristics of it and why it is dangerous this is all given here next cyclone bulbul is the seventh to be formed in the indian ocean bay of bengal is the arm of indian ocean only so that's correct it is devastating the areas of bangladesh and bengal and in odisha also so that's correct last year also there were seven cyclones in the indian ocean region and this year till november uh, starting uh, this is the seventh one and next one may be in the line so maybe this year we are going to break all the records there and uh, it is the highest in the last 34 years seven numbers in one year and not only Bay of Bengal, in the Arabian Sea also there were more uh, uh, number of cyclones and four severe cyclones were there this year. Okay, so uh, these are given. But Hurricane Dorian was there in Bahamas region of Southeastern Americas. It was not Arabian Sea because hurricanes are there in Atlantic Ocean and the Eastern Pacific Ocean. So this is wrong. These are all tropical cyclones but the nomenclature is according to the world region, regions. Hurricane is mainly in the Atlantic Ocean and the south sorry north eastern pacific ocean okay they're only they're called hurricanes they are called typhoons around uh, china, uh, china and japan and cyclone in indian ocean so only one is the correct option here second is wrong you can see highest in last 34 years record has been made in 2018 and in 19 also eight storms in single air okay and in arabian sea also you see four major cyclones were there vayu hika kyar and maha and it was again a record for arabian sea also in last 117 years this is the most severe condition because arabian sea mean normally is very wide and open and uh, it's the wide arm of indian ocean bay of bengal is a restricted area it is uh, all surrounded by the land part that's why more severe cyclones are there more evaporation more heat and more severe cyclones are there in bay of bengal but this year arabian sea was also a, a big victim there so that's very very important and the details are given here tropical cyclones their details and the nomenclature which is all mentioned here okay other ones super typhoon halong in west north pacific ocean where japan china they are located Hurricane Dorian in Bahamas, Nakri in West Philippine Sea. So this is all for today. We will meet again tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Keep watching. It was